大家好，欢迎收听今天的早安英文。我是卡拉。I'm Terry. So I read a magazine about Alan Roberts today. Uh, you mean Alan Roberts, the French Spider Man? 对，就是那个法国的蜘蛛侠。Yeah, the all-time famous urban climber. Oh, cool! What info、uh, did you got from the magazine? Anything new? Well, it depends. Uh, he is a free solo climber, and he has climbed a lot of tall buildings all over the world, including the world's tallest building, 也就是 the Khalifa Tower in Dubai in 2011. I see. Sounds interesting, guys. That brings us to the to today's episode of Morning English. The reason why bouldering, skywalking, or Urban climbing is becoming popular. 嗯，那今天呢，要聊的这个话题啊，就是为什么现在这些极限运动变得越来越流行了。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So bouldering is the act of climbing on the outside of buildings and other artificial structures. 那首先呢，解释一下刚刚提到那几个词啊。第一个呢叫做 bouldering， 那这个词的意思呢，其实就是呃，爬一些那个 building， 就是建筑物或者说其他的 artificial structures。Yes. Artificial 就是指人造的、人工的，也就是比如说一些桥啊等等之类的。总之就是人的、人造的这个建筑物。All right, so it started somewhere in 1895 in England, where it was documented. Wow, that long! I thought it's a new thing going on in like the 21st century. No,、nope. it became really popular amongst teenagers and young adults in Eastern European countries from 2008. 呃、uh, ，也就是说，呃、uh, ，这个事情呢，这个这个项目啊，是从一八九五年就开始了的，这个是有这个文件记载的。然后呢，从二零零八年开始，这个项目呢，开始在呃，就是东欧国家的一些这个青少年、一些年轻人当中流行开来了。But why has it become so popular these days? Guess? Uh, no idea. Okay, so internet, yay! Let's clap for yeah, internet. Internet, yeah, and social media. All right, and then people who are adventurous,、mm. and of course, photo shoot for magazine cover. See, you just read a magazine, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, and tell you what, such kinds of activities are usually done at night because it's illegal and dangerous. 呃、uh, ，所以呢，这个事情的流行啊，其实很大一部分原因就是因为互联网的普及。那大家知道这个事情之后呢，才开始慢慢流行起来。呃、uh, ，但是你说它是 illegal？ Yes, it's illegal. Oh, really? Yeah, there is no. You cannot find a company that says that. Hey, guys, if you wanna. If you wanna climb the Khalifa building, come and register your name, and we will give you dollars. No, usually they do it by themselves. We call them solo climbers.、Oh, uh, solo climbers. Yes.、Uh. 就是他通常都是独自一个人去，呃，而且呢，在很多地方它都是违法的，因为 too dangerous. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. All right, so it's very dangerous, and there aren't any special safety measures put in place to protect these climbers. What about an ambulance, just in case? No, no ambulance, no hospital, no government will、uh, entertain that. <laughs> All right, so if you're gonna die, you you're gonna you, die. You gonna... <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die anyways.、Yeah. We only live once, and we die. How、okay. many times? How many times do we die? 
Only once. Okay, you <laughs> live once and you die once. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what happens if they got caught? They stop them from climbing further up. In 2016, Stephen Rogata climbed the Trump Tower using just a climbing gear and a giant suction cups. He was stopped by the NYPD officers on the 21st floor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. 就是如果说当时如果说在爬的过程当中啊就被抓到的话，那么就会阻止他再继续往上爬。比如说在二零一六年的时候，有一个叫做 Stephen Rogata Rogata 啊， uh, 他在爬这个 Trump Tower， 就是川普大楼的时候呢，爬到就安全措施也做的不是特别的足啊，然后在爬到二十一楼的时候，就被这个 New York Police Department。就是给阻止了啊，继续阻止继续往上爬。But, uh, would they be put in jail? Oh no, no, they will not be put in jail. It's just they will be fined. And actually, we don't see it's illegal. They don't get caught before they die. <laughs> <laughs> OK OK， 所以呢，他们就是呃，也不会说去坐牢，但是呢，会被 fined， 会被罚款。Yes yes yes、呃。然后呢，会被阻止继续进行。Yeah， and then also it depends where you're climbing. If it's it depends on the law of each country, right? Whether is acceptable or it's not, they will give you a warning. Or they will find you, but also if the country it has become so many, right?、Mm -hmm. Then they will set a rule, right? And then they will be like,、uh, if you climb, blah 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 blah, you are going to be、uh, fined or be put to jail or something like that.、Okay. Right. 所以呢，这个就是根据不同国家，或者说不同的州的这个法律的不同， mm -hmm. 或者说根据你爬的这个建筑物的不同， mm -hmm. 它会有不同的情况。但是，哎呀，就是看到很多人，我在网上看到过一个集锦啊， mm -hmm. 就是做这种极限运动，然后死掉的那种人的那个集锦。Mm -hmm. A lot of people died because of this. Yeah,、right? and when you yes, a lot of people, and when you die out from this, you don't get any insurance, you know, and we don't even see you <laughs> because you just. Flew, right? I believe I can fly, right? And then he flew from twenty first or twenty whatever floor, and then, bam, like that on the ground. And you know, you become bashed up before your mother says he wants to. She wants to know who died. We can't recognize you. All your bones are broken. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's stop here, <laughs> guys. 好了好了，那我们今天呢就跟大家讨论了这么一项近几年开始越来越火的这个极限运动啊，就是它可以叫做 buildering，、mm -hmm. 也可以叫 skywalking，、mm -hmm. 也可以叫 urban climbing，、mm -hmm. 它们都是一个意思。Hello, welcome to Morning English。早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。<笑>好了好了，那我们今天这一期节目呢，就和大家聊到这里了。那就是，我是卡拉 ，I'm Terry，I love you guys，bye。